Greetings, loved ones from Johannesburg, South Africa. Ah, oh, okay, finally. so quick or maybe because i was reading a novel but yeah i'm gonna be in joba for five days but i may extend it for an additional week i need a break from kinshasa and it feels good to be insanity <laughs> but anyways i'm at the hyatt house joke aside last time i was here there was a cute neighborhood called rose bank and i was like oh my gosh i want to see her next time and i saw the hyatt hotel usually i like boutique but i'm like you know what let me just do the hyatt it's reliable and it's a quick trip i get here Turns out, the one that I saw last time I was here, I shut down. And But the cool thing about this Hyatt Hotel, let me take you through. It's called the Hyatt House. It's like a mini apartment, like a one bedroom, small apartment. Very minimal, very simple. I have a balcony here, parking. And then, so this is the vibe. So simple. It's a kitchen, small kitchen. Here we have mirror, TV balcony we have this chair here little number and then we have a one bedroom right here with the tv fairly big closet and then here we have the bathroom tub toilet shower so yeah nothing crazy but honestly kind of works and um yeah and now Kind of dark but i'm gonna go out to dinner at this cute restaurant called marble your girl loves restaurant and experiences so i'm gonna do that and then tomorrow sunday i'm gonna take it easy i need to edit my youtube videos and there's a we work here across the street which i'm super glad so yeah super happy to be in joburg and because this is a mini apartment while i love restaurants i think i'm gonna go to the grocery store today and buy some food at least have that for the week apartment you will not believe where my camera is standing right now literally in the kitchen cupboard i think it's called cupboard uh yeah anyways drank a little too much but i just came back from the restaurant literally such a cute place so rose bank a little background story so i actually during my master's studies as part of my internship with my professor i actually lived in Joburg for like six seven months so I'm a little familiar with Johannesburg, but there's some areas that I've forgotten. Rosebank, I forgot about Rosebank. So this is actually where I'm staying. Such a cute neighborhood. This restaurant, five out of five. Like Google reviews are just not disappointing. Like it was super cool. And the highlight for me, I actually met this girl. She stroke a conversation. Such a nice girl. Randomly asked me like a solo date. I was like, girl, this is what happens when you travel by yourself constant solo date but she was super cool super sweet like it was just it's just good to meet people when you travel like this but also like johannesburg i just forgot how fly people are here the swagger like i like i look like a scrub like i'm wearing a t-shirt levi jeans or everlane jeans and like white sneakers and my hair looks a mess 
but everybody that was looking so good. And then, this is the best part, by the way, for those of you that want to travel, but you're like, oh, finances are tight. A piece of advice, something that I started doing, you travel to countries where your home currency gets you further. So Congo, we live on the dollar. And when you earn cash in dollars and you come to South Africa, which is on the RAN, the RAN, one US dollar is 18 South African RAN. So my bill came to like, I think like 1300 or something. And that was about 70, $73. So it's such a nice conversion. Things are cheaper. And it was same with Namibia, same with Thailand, same with Mexico. So that's my advice. The biggest thing you want to splurge on is probably going to be like your lodge. And then in places like South Africa, even hotels are cheap, like, and a beautiful hotel. So anyways, overall, really cool spot. Tomorrow, I'm excited to hopefully sleep in, go to the gym. The gym is literally next to my hotel room. Um, and then I'm going to go to Rosebank Mall, which is down the street, check out some spots and hopefully find some cute coffee shops, a grocery store. And then just get back to a routine. So the agenda for this week, by the way, is to check out a few manufacturers. I need machines for my honey. Like, I need machines. I can't keep doing this labor crap. I need machines. Although it's labor, I meant manual. I can't keep doing manual crap. I need machines for the packaging, machines for the consistency. So rather than just going to China, which I really want to visit... I figured I could visit South Africa because they also make a lot of great machines here. So I'm going to check it out. If it's worth it, I may start with machines from South Africa because it's really easy to export from South Africa to Kinshasa. If you don't know that, I know so many of my friends that have export shipping companies for logistics into Congo from South Africa. So I'm going to check it out. If it's not looking so good, I'll stick to China. But excited. But anyways, I'm also really excited to just be in South Africa relax a little bit, be in a country with good roads, restaurants, amenities, and then take it easy, but also get some work done. And luckily for me, I have a WeWork membership and there's a WeWork right in front of my hotel. So I'm excited. Anyways, it is now evening time. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna read a book and probably just catch up on Bridgerton. So today I actually walked to the mall. It is literally a two minute walk, not even. Let me make some tea. I can already feel myself getting a cold. It is winter time in South Africa. So they have an opposite calendar to North America in terms of winter. And your girl who is like on this journey of like only traveling with carry on I'm limited onto what I can buy, which is good because it limits your materialistic purchases. But it sucks because it's freaking cold. So I may have to buy a sweater, but I have like no room. Sorry, my kettle is so loud. But yeah, so it's a good day. Rosebank Mall. I haven't been in South Africa, Joburg, like actually exploring Joburg in a while because I forgot how big Rosebank Mall actually is. Last time I was here last year, I just went to like the coffee shop. But this time I really get to explore. So pretty big. Anyways, I got some groceries. I'm supposed to leave for Congo in three, four days. But I'm really thinking about extending it by an extra 10 days. Because your girl needs a break from Kinshasa. So today I'm going to take it easy. 
morning at one of my favorite coffee shops here. And then now I'm gonna make lunch. I bought some food. This is what I love about South Africa. Half of it is definitely processed. Don't let anyone lie to you. But the other half is locally made mostly in uh, Cape Town. So I'm excited to cook. And I bought five grocery bags, total of $65. I missed this. Whereas in Kinshasa, five grocery bags, easily three, four hundred dollars. So I'm so happy. Anyways, chill Sunday, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna do some YouTube video editing and uh, and read a book. So happy Sunday. Ooh, morning, beautiful people. All right, it is Monday here in Joburg. I'm wrapping up some emails just quickly, um, aligning with my team in Congo, just where are things at, where we're doing. And for today, I'm gonna go visit some um, manufacturers that make machines. So when it comes to machines, especially for the honey, my honey company, there's a few things that I need, like a lot actually. So we need mold to make plastic Things mold are like things that you insert into the machine that pumps it and turns it into a plastic bottle. We need this. We need um, uh, the word is escaping me. It's like a temper thing that block of liquid um, inside. We need a machine that like wraps plastic around it. So when consumers open it, it's all good to go. I also need a machine that makes little sachets. Sachets are like little bags that I want to start selling small quantities of honey on the street in Congo. And then we need two more tractors for the farm. And I really need some industrial shells. So all these things are made in China too. And South Africa also makes them. The good thing with South Africa is the distance. But the good thing about China is lower cost. But what kills China is importing it from China into DRC. The freight cost is killer. So... We'll print directly, or we'll print this bottle. Okay. So it's come out, it come out, and then when it come out this side, it's already printed. Okay. Let me. So you're gonna come back to me? Yeah. Let me take it. Hold on. The one that's gonna manage it. Oh. Yeah. It's me. Wow. Oh, okay. 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 Sure. There's a B missing after after the ah, M. M. Uh, uh, once I see it, I'm to go And we're back. <laughs> All right, so today was a good day. So I got to go to some manufacturers to see a couple machines. So from what I gathered, this is just my gut feeling. A lot of the manufacturers, I think in South Africa, either import machines from China or they import the parts from China and they put it together here in South Africa. So the laser printer one, the one that makes the, pretty much the one that was demonstrating, they, they pretty much printed this in front of me, which was really cool. And they also tested this part in front of me and it took like a minute. That machine, they get it from China. So I'm, I'm like, okay, I might as well just buy the machine from China myself and import it to Congo rather than going through you guys. But the first company where I saw all the machines for like the dispensary, the piston, that stuff, I may actually get it here. And they have really good pricing. And this is another thing. So when you're trying to do business in Congo, 
you're going to realize that most of Congo stuff is imported. We don't, we barely produce anything locally in Congo. So you have to import. But I think what I'm realizing with South Africa, South Africa has a lot of good stuff that you need to do business in Congo. But South Africa, I feel like, this is just like, maybe I'm wrong. This is my gut feeling. Maybe there's some history there with the apartheid where they've kept their population locked in. And they don't really advertise on Google. Like 90% of the hotels that you're going to see in South Africa, you're not going to see them on Google. Or maybe they just feel like the Google search engine is mostly for Americans. But that's a little false because I think China dominates the search engine. Like when you search manufacturing tools and stuff like that, the search engine that comes up is always China. So anyways, but anyway, overall really good. Tomorrow we're going to go see a manufacturer that makes the plastic... Um, pro forma. So before this gets blown into a machine, it's you have to have the mold made. Um, and because your girl loves branding, this shape is very specific. So I'm gonna find a manufacturing company that does that. I also want to find one that's gonna help us with like the ceiling of the bottle. So figure that out. But anyways, overall, really good day, really productive, and um, yeah. So now. I'm going to make myself some tea, catch up on some emails, and do more YouTube video editing. By the way, the internet at this hotel is so slow, I'm struggling uploading videos. But it's also a good time to just do some editing. It's cold outside. I feel cozy right now.